Yo, what is up, my dudes? What's up, guys? Welcome back. Welcome to the official start, I guess, of the, uh, the 2021 ABT season for me. Um, I mean, technically the year has already started. Um, I didn't fish it, no one really did. The first round was supposed to be in Blue Rock in Victoria. Uh, and that was, was it last weekend or the weekend before? I don't know. That's how much I didn't care for it. I thought it was a, anyway, I'm not gonna get into that, but I've got my own thoughts about putting a bass tournament down in Victoria at this time. But long story short, it actually got canceled because Victoria went into a five day immediate lockdown for COVID. Um, so the uh, four and a half people that went down there <laughs> had to come home. Uh, I do feel sorry for the guys that actually went the distance and traveled to, uh, to compete, but um, yeah, I got my own opinion on having it there in the first place. But guys, we're kicking off the 2021 season officially right now. This isn't a travel vlog, this isn't a fishing vlog, but it's got a hell of a lot to do with fishing. Basically, uh, I'm just gonna give you a rundown of my tackle prep. So I've gotta get everything ready. It's the weekend now. I actually leave on this coming Thursday to, uh, to shoot down at Glenbourne and uh, start filming down there and uh, pre-fish for the, uh, the Glenbourne tournament that's coming up. So I'll leave Thursday. I'll be end up uh, fishing, fishing the lake. I'll be end up, that didn't make sense. I will end up fishing the lake on Friday, Saturday and Sunday uh, and shoot back early Monday so I'll get home Monday night. Um, what have I got for you today? So today I'm just basically, I've taken everything out of my boat. Um, I've got a bunch of new, brand new line from Platypus to put on all of my reels. I actually have to pick that up on Monday because Gareth is doing me up a big spool of about a thousand meters of, of that for me. Um, I have some new rods to show you guys. I've got uh, some, not some new reels, but I have a new reel that actually isn't in the country yet. Um, it's top, top secret. No, I've, uh, I've, got, I've got two of these bait cast reels now because I stole another, well I didn't steal another one, but I wanted another one. We actually had a couple sent through as samples. Um, I bait cast, I reel with my left hand. So uh, I'm one of the only guys in the TT pro staff that uh, reel with my left. So I was like, hey, can I have this one too? And the answer was yes. So um, I'm gonna show you guys, give you a sneak peek of that reel. They will be available this year. So keep up to date and I'll let you know more about that. But they are a fantastic bait cast reel from Akuma and honestly, my mates that have been on the boats or the boats around me um, know how much I rate this reel. Oh look, I'm getting a Snapchat. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this on silent. Look, I'm getting a Snapchat from, oh well it's gone now, but it was from Mickey Maguire. Mickey, if you're watching this, stop interrupting me, I'm trying to vlog. Um, all right, so let's get into it. Oh, actually, let's, okay, let's let my dog in because he's really like, look, he's kind of sulking there. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Are you sulking? <sighs> he's sulking. All right, let's let Dallas in. Come on. Are you gonna say hello to everyone? Hey, look. I'll check it out, man. What is this? What's up, man? What's up, man? Say hello, everyone. <laughs> Look, he really doesn't want this. Okay, all right, you're gone. He's gone. All right. Um, oh, the other thing, you guys that have seen on my, uh, my Instagram, the guys that follow me on my Insta, will have seen my fish tank finally up and ready. And it actually looks sick. Like, check this out. I'm gonna turn this around here so you guys can see. How good does that look? I'm loving this tank at the moment. This is gonna be really hard, but I got my OBs here. 
I've got a couple OBs, they come from like a, a blue bloodline. He's actually starting to throw a little bit of red just behind his gills there, which is really cool, but <clears throat> they actually did get bred from some electric blues, sort of like this guy. That's a sulfur. He's got this yellow in his head. Um, that's that's kind of more an electric blue. Um, I got my my reds in here. I got my sunshines. This not him. He's an electric yellow, but this guy with the little blue head and the yellow body. That one and that one just right there. So they're sunshine peacocks. I got my albino fires and my dragon bloods. There. Uh, the little red and black stripy ones. They're clown loaches. I love clown loaches. I just think they look really, really cool. Uh, and I got some red empress here that will eventually colour up. And they're not as super, super brightly coloured as these peacocks, but they do actually have some nice red and blues shone through them. Uh, I do have. There's my rainbow sharkfish just here. He sort of likes to hide in those rocks, so you probably can't see him anymore. And I do have a couple of sailfin plecos that are getting around too. Got one normal one, and one albino. Oh, there's one. Hey man, what's up? So they'll actually grow quite large. And I'm not actually sure. Oh, I left out the white knights. Sorry, guys. These little guys here. Where are we? So the little ones that look like this one. Uh, they're all white knights. They actually will grow. Um, to a decent size too, and they actually have this like really nice, nice sort of like, like an ice blue, electric ice blue shimmer. And then we got a few other hybrids in there as well, so like him, where'd he go? This little guy. He's kind of a hybrid between like a, uh, uh, electric blue, like an ice blue, and sort of like a red, he's got red fins, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't know where my albino pleco is. Oh, he's under the rock, but you probably can't see from the glare. Oh. Anyway, that's my tank, and it actually looks sick. You guys that have kept up to date on my stories on Instagram, I've got my fluval light in there. I've got it on my full day cycle. I can customize the colors at night. I can change it to like a blue light, or it actually, it actually comes on automatically, which is really, really cool. But, um... If you guys saw all of my undies and stuff in the background, you're so welcome. It's like raining outside, so I've got to hang them inside. It sucks, and it doesn't really make for a super cool vlog looking at my undies, but hey, now you have, and then we can all just move on and pretend like this didn't happen. All right, um, fishing stuff. This room is an absolute bom bomb side at the moment. Like, there is, a lot, a lot going on. I actually tidied up this back here. I've got sort of like a little bit of my barra gear here. Uh, I think this shelf here is where I'm going to put all of my my fishing line, all my leaders and excess braid. This is just some excess lures down here uh, where I keep some of my, my spare Costa Sunnies. Um, yeah. I don't know, I've tried to declutter my hats or like condense my hats. I'll probably put my spare Akumas here. I've got some other reels down here that I don't really use anymore, so kind of got to sell if anyone needs any reel. I've got some Daiwas and Shimano's here. Uh, and then of course I have this mess that I have to sort out. Dallas, what are you doing? Oi, they're not toys. Yeah, so, uh, oh, all right, this is actually what I wanted to show you guys too. So, brand, brand new, brand, brand new from Platypus Braid down at TT. Is this gonna focus for me? Cause it's really annoying me. Just focus. Okay, so check it out. This is brand new, stop doing this. I'm just gonna put this here cause my camera's not focusing. There you go, brand new Platypus Pulse. It's still not focusing, but hey, whatever. So, this stuff here, it's actually a, a brand new braid from Platypus. We've been working on it for a while. I've been using this stuff for probably about, since Cania, so probably almost six months now. Um, and I actually can't fault it. Like, it's really good. I 
really, really, really rate this braid. It's not going to be a super expensive braid, so you're not going to be spending 70 bucks a spool. Um, it comes in a bunch of different uh, uh, line ratings as well, all the way down to six pound, I think, is the lightest, and all the way up to like your 40s and 50s pluses and stuff for your barra. Uh, I'll drop a link in the description anyway down below where you can find out more information about these. And what is cool is this little QR QR code on the back, which is pretty sweet. You can scan that on your phone and it will actually bring up all the information to take you straight to the website and uh, will tell you kind of the things that you want to know about Platypus Pulse. So um, yeah, that's the four strand for my bait casters. I like running the four strand on the bait casters. Obviously eights on my spin gear. So, um, I have, oh, this guy, this guy right here. This is a little sneak peek at what's to come in 2021 from Akuma. So this is one of our, it's just gonna be, it's not gonna be an expensive bait cast reel. Um, it's probably only going to set you back about 140, 150 bucks retail. It's called the Akuma Serrano. Um, that's S-E-R-R-A-N-O. This actually is an amazing, amazing little piece of gear. Um, on, the castability on it is actually out of control. Like, that's why I just can't put it down. I cannot put it down. Obviously, you know, you're spending into that $400 range with your Akuma Helios um, HSX bait cast, which I've got a couple of, um, and I love that bait cast reel. It is the smoothest thing I've ever used in my life. Um, the Serrano, no, it's not going to be as smooth as a $400 reel. It's still pretty smooth, not as smooth as a $400 Helios. However, the castability on that thing is out of control. It is effortless. I've given it, I give it to everyone. So like, here, cast this, go nuts. And uh, they actually can't believe how well it casts. Like I cast little jackals, little jackal jerk baits on it and never bird's nest, never have a drama. It's honestly just, I can't, I can't put it down. I can't put it down. And that's why I've got, I managed to get that one. Um, so I've probably only got the two left-handed ones in the country at the moment. But keep your eyes out, Akuma Serrano. They are coming, 2021. So um, stay tuned for that. Not gonna break the bank. Great reel, plenty of drag. More details to come. All right, let's, uh, I'm gonna put the camera on the tripod and um, we're gonna get into checking out my gear and go over a little bit of uh, my tackle prep getting sorted for the season for 2021. Oh, I left my beer out there. Pause. Just wait. Everyone, just, just wait. This is important. This is important. Okay. <sighs> Cheers. It was important. It needed to happen. Okay. Makes this go way easier. All right. Let's get into this. I've got, <clears throat> I've got so much stuff. I mean, where do I start? Um, I actually am going to get a bunch more of these bags from TT to um, just put all of my plastics in. They're actually a really, really cool, cool bit of kit. I think I just got a bunch of brim stuff in here at the moment when I was not on my boat. But um, you got a bunch of binders in here. You can put all of your plastics and stuff on these binder rings and basically just flip through them. Um, I actually think I'm going to try and do some stuff like that this year rather than use uh, these big, big boxes in my boat. I love this storage idea. They actually are great, you know, like this is where I keep all of my Kitex. Um, all in here, I've actually got them. So I'm real OCD. And being organized on a boat, I actually think is really important. That way in a tournament situation, or any situation, but tournament situation, you want to be able to just know where things are, not have to fumble around too much and waste too much time. 
So, you know, like this is where I keep all of my, my Kitec plastics in here. They are actually all in separate, separate Ziploc bags. Um, and separated as well. So these are the three inch easy shiners. They're all, this whole area will be three inch easy shiners, multiple packets in each and, uh, and color coordinated too. Which means these will be my, my two inch easy shiners down here. Again, same thing, Ziploc bags and uh, all of my packets in there. Um, I've got another box as well. That actually has all of my other Kitex in it. So these will have my, uh, my fat swing impacts down here. Again, Ziploc bags, multiple packets in each. And that way I know exactly where everything is. So that box down there, that's all my easy shiners. Two inch, three inch, bang, can get in there straight away. And I know straight away that these are my fat swing impacts in here and all of my Kitec creature baits, like my noisy flappers, crazy flappers. And uh, I've got some of the uh, the wags. Are they? What are they called? Mad wag. Mad wag. The little sort of uh, grub tail looking things from Kitec too. So while it is a really good way of separating all my lures and getting there easily to just pull out what I need, um, they're big. Like they're big boxes, guys. Like, there's a lot of lures here, and that's a lot, you know, it takes up a lot of room in my boat. Um, it doesn't really bother me, but I'm just trying to look for a way that I can maximize the space that I have in my boat. So this works great, but I think what I might do is end up getting some, some bait binders. I'll still take these in the car, just for my multiple excess lures um, but then I think I'll actually just sort of I'll have maybe one folder for my two inch plastics one folder for my three inch another one for my fat swing impacts and another one for my creature baits and stuff like that so it's still going to be easily accessible I'm still going to know what's what um, this is just way smaller you know something like this is way smaller than that and it's going to keep it nice and cool on the boat too because these are kind of insulated, so they're not going to get too hot. I've never had any dramas with things overheating, my plastics overheating with these, but it's just a space thing, really. So I'll still take these in the car and I'll put those bags in my boat. Um, as for the rest of the stuff, you know, like this is where I keep all of my, my jigs. I have to redo this. I know where I keep my jigs, but anyway, this is from ages ago. So these are all of my Jig Pro jigs in here. As you can see, they're all kind of in colours too. So what have I got? I got a white one. I've never actually used a white jig, but I I would like to to suss that out. Um, I got my blacks, black and red, black and blue in here. Some spares that I actually like to keep in the plastic. That way, everything stays just moisture free. I got some spare skirts, I got some small chatterbaits in here um, from a few different companies. So that is where I keep all of my jigs. So that actually doesn't really need any attention, which is great. This is where I keep all of my jerk baits. It's a, a Plano box. I use a lot of Planos, I actually do like the Plano stuff. Um, this is a double like layer construction, so I got my top layer. I've got all my jerk baits in here. So whether it be some gold bombers and stuff, which are not really bass related, but they're just in there. I got a bunch of jackals. I got my die with double clutches and stuff over here. Even got some wooden ones in there. And then uh, down the bottom is where I keep some of the bigger ones, mainly for the rivers and stuff. There's some of your bigger square bills, you know, like. I got my Imakatsu. Some of my Imakatsu IK 800s down there. Um, oh, I got some. I actually don't even know what that is, but I know I've caught fish on it in the rivers. Anyway, I got some Rapalas in there. That's where I keep some of the bigger ones and some of the deep diver square bills. 
I got my spoon, got my spoon case. Oh look, it actually says spoons. I don't know, can you see that? This is this is how organized I am. Look, spoons and ice cheeks. Um Organised, there's a bit of, oh no, there's just moisture on the outside, that's good. So, pretty much this is where I got all of my, my spoons and my ice jigs. I don't really ice jig a lot, guys. I hate ice jigging. I've got them just in case, but I much prefer using a blade to an ice jig. I got some tail spinners and stuff in here as well. I got my wasabi spoons, I got Earl XG2s. A uh, couple of G1s, I got some slow blats. I actually need to grab some of Jace's uh, Raptor jigs. So Jace, if you're watching, send me some of your Raptors. <laughs> Alright, my least favourite and least used box of them all is my Surface. It's something that I need to do a lot more of, but um. I just really don't enjoy Surface, guys. I know some of you guys are gonna just think like, what, how can you hate Surface? I just, I don't like it. That's my Surface stuff. Look, the trebles and everything on them are fine because I hardly have thrown. I have thrown it sometimes, but really, I just prefer other types of fishing. Uh, I've got my crankbaits. Don't need to see those crankbaits because they're for brim, mostly. Actually, I do have some of the Nomad Nomad ones here that I'll, we've got a lot more river rounds this year. Look, I'm just gonna move these boxes because they keep on standing on it and it's quite annoying. These are old and rusty and dirty because when I used to fish for brim, but some of the Nomad, these are some of the Nomad ones. If that wants to focus on there for me. Hang on, hang on, okay, here we go. So this is some of the Nomad cranks. Actually really cool. They're a pretty deep diver. Like they do actually have quite a decent bib. That's just gone into my thumb, so that's good. Fitted out with BKKs on there too, custom, so that's really cool. So that's from Nomad Fishing. I've got a couple of those. Um, I've got sort of like your standard, standard prawn colors and stuff like that, but they're really cool. They've got a really big flat, really flat head which creates like a really big wobble in the water. So I've got some more river rounds this year, so I'll actually throw them. Um, I'll drop a link in the description below so you can guys find out where you can get some of those, but that's from Nomad Fishing. Um, what else have we got? This got hammered last year and I've lost a lot, but this is where I keep some of my jackals. Um, Cal coordinated, I do need to get more. So that's another thing that I need to... All of this is basically just just a stock take, an inventory of what I need to get more of for this year. Uh, and then of course my, my blade box. Those of you that know me know how much I love my blades, especially this guy right here. Pink ZX blade. That has won me, well not actually won me, but it's put me, shot me up the top in quite a number of tournaments the other year. Um, what else have we got? This is where I keep all of my, my terminal tackle. This is actually one of my favorite boxes. This is an insane box. It's really big, really secure. Like no matter what you do, I can tip this upside down. Stuff stays secure and it doesn't move around all that much. It's uh, a top layer and a bottom layer, so up the top is where I keep all of my easy go-to tournament hooks and everything. Um, probably does need a bit of a clean, but this is going to be tricky because I don't want to tip all these hooks everywhere. So pretty much, this is just down here is where I just throw whatever. I need to clean these out. It's kind of whatever is in there. Up the top I go from really like 1 12th and stuff like that all the way to 1 8th. 1 6th and your quarters. Some of your TT Demons, all of your painted style jig heads, like that. If that's gonna focus for me. Uh, I actually like to keep them in the packet because sometimes they get knocked around and the paint sort of gets scratched and stuff, so 
I do, I am a fan of trying to keep things in their packets when I can. It does take up a bit more space, but I know that those hooks are going to be nice and sharp. It's not going to have any moisture on it, so it's not going to have any rusty spots. It's going to be like pristine, ready to go. The paint on them is going to be perfect. So, like I said, I do try and keep them in the packets where I can. Um, so, that's all of that stuff, and then I got all of my excess, okay, this is where it's going to be tricky. So this is where I keep the rest of the, uh, the terminal tackle. And there one goes already. <laughs> That's what I was trying to avoid. Um, I've got all of my split rings and stuff in here. So I use BKK hooks, I use BKK split rings. Every bit of terminal tackle that I've got is BKK. Uh, except for I've got some tungsten weights, which are VMC. I've got some woo tungsten stuff as well. Other than that, I've got all of my spare spare hooks in here uh, that will end up going up the top there. I've got some assist hooks from Vex. I've got the ZX assist hooks um, and some Kitek and top Kitek hooks and stuff in there and everything. So that's um, pretty much where I keep all of my terminal tackle. And that just flips back over, latches back up like a little briefcase, and then we're good to go. So this is actually one of my favourite cases, guys. If you uh, you want to get a hold of one of these, you can look anywhere. Um, have a look on Fishing Bits. Talk to the boys from Fishing Bits, and they should be able to sort you out. But it is a uh, it's a versus um, versus case. The smaller ones are Plano. This is versus, but I can't remember what they call it, but it's a big one, but it holds everything so secure. It's not one of these cases where if you're like, if you're doing that, your hooks are gonna go everywhere. Like these hooks do not move from where you put them. I highly recommend that. Uh, this, I need to go through this. This is one of my last things from TT. I got some more Costa Sunnies. Oh, I got some more Demons in here. I've just got a bunch of some TRD bugs that I like using as trailers. I got, <laughs> I got some uh, aquas, which really annoys me because those stupid things work on rim so good. And then I just got my scissors. So this is all just I've just thrown it in there. This is a mess. I need to put all of this in here. I got my spinner baits. So these are Plano cases for spinner baits as well, that are actually really rate. You can get a bigger one. These two just fitted where I put them in my boat, but you've got everything that you can put in here for your spinner baits, which is awesome. They're all in separate things. You sort of just place the spinner bait on there and they don't move. So they're all my TT Vortex spinner baits. Um, I do have a few Bassman ones kicking around, but generally I like the TT Vortex ones. Uh, in a half ounce and a 3 8 ounce. That's where I keep my spinner baits. What else? We're sort of running out. I have got a bunch of new reels, guys, that I've, uh, that I've got to spool up as well. They're just some. I got a new Helios HSX. Yeah, I'll get it out. You guys, you guys can see it. Really good looking reel from Akuma. It's our top of the line uh, bait cast reel in the low profiles. So I've really, Akuma have really put a lot of work into this guy right here. It looks red hot. It is honestly one of the smoothest bait casters you will ever use. I promise you that. And it's light. It's so, so light. But honestly, this thing just casts an absolute mile. So. If you guys do want any information on the Akuma gear, like I said, I'll drop it in a link below so you guys can click on that. You can go over to Tackle Tactics, have a look at all the Akuma stuff that I use. There won't be anything on this Serrano reel yet. This little fella here, it is, it is coming. Um, we do expect it this year. Um, when we're going to be releasing it, we may, probably I'd say we'd be releasing it at after. Um, sort of halfway through the year, so Q1 
keep your eyes and ears open for that. Um, yeah, other than that, I just got all of these rods that I need to re-spool with that line, but I'll have to do that Monday. The bait casters I can re-spool today. Yeah, I've got, I got all this. There's some of my creature baits that I'm gonna sort out. But guys, this is what I've been doing. So, organizing my tournament stuff. Oh, that whiteboard actually is uh, where I like to put all of my tournament dates. It's where I like to put my results from the year before. Um, I like to put that the event's paid and got a tick, uh, where it is, date, like everything, and that way I can keep track of all of my tournament stuff this year. Uh, I put some in, uh, inspirational quotes on there, just, I'm always looking at it, so just things to just make sure you stay focused and don't get too caught up in basically how the year's going. You know, if you're on a roll or on a bad roll or something, like just, I like to put things on there that just keep me focused and not too sucked in by getting caught up in my head, because tournament fishing is very very mental and you can get caught up pretty easily uh, especially if you're having a bad run so this is really just about organizing everything making sure it's all good everything's ready to go i can just take it out of wherever and bang i can throw it on and ready to go no dramas preparation is the key to success anyone will tell you that so this is my preparation for success for 2021 guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you give me the thumbs up Make sure you follow me over on Facebook and Instagram too, Keegan Painter Fishing. Follow me there. Keep up to date with what I do day to day. I've got TikTok too, Keegan Painter Fishing. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Really important. Harp on about it all the time. But this will be the year that I actually start punching out some more videos for you guys. Last year I was supposed to do that and then COVID happened and really ruined it. So you can go away, COVID. We've really had enough of you. I'm done. I'm done with COVID. But guys, if you want any information about my Kitex, my Akuma, the Tackle Tactics jigs that I use from Jig Pro, um, my Costa Sunnies, um, my Fear My Heart gear, which is actually, this is one of Carl's hats. If you do want some of Carl's new gear, um, we've got a few different things in the line too from Fear My Heart. We've got this guy as well. I've got the rare breed hat. So if you guys want any more information about the new Fear My Heart gear that's dropping, Carl and Kayla are really doing an awesome job about getting some, some more content, some more apparel I should say, out there, which is sweet. You can jump over to fearmyheart.com, but again, the link will be in the description box for everything I use here. Look, I think that's covered just about everything. I bored you guys enough. I'm gonna get stuck into this, so then at some point tonight I can actually be done. Then I've gotta pack all my car and go through my camping stuff. But this is what's up. This is the life of preparing for tournaments for the year. If you enjoyed it, give me the thumbs up, guys. As I said, subscribe to my channel, follow what I do. Other than that, I'm out. Enjoy, I'm thirsty. I'll see you guys later.